Good morning to you. 7.32 from our studios. We're good to go this morning with um, the uh, big stories on the papers on dailies today. I am Sheriff Quadri. And I'm Jimmy Disu. Good morning. You can watch us on Facebook and also on YouTube. Nigeria Info 99.3 is how you can watch on those two platforms. Um, let's start with the Vanguard, page 8 this morning. Ask to strike FG, make U-turn on no work, no pay policy. Proposes 23.5% salary increment for lecturers. Yes, I, I heard you this morning, um, Sheriff, at uh, 5 o'clock. Um, and I appreciated people's contribution. But one thing we need to understand is that one of the problems we have is 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 a, a bad attitude to education itself and not seeing it as prior, as our priority mm -hmm. one of the things that will definitely solve because it, look by the time you think you have solved this crisis another one is going to erupt mm -hmm. for as long as you have the disruptions in the reward system that we have one of the problems we have about salaries and whatever is not so much how much, who is being paid what but the disparity, you can't run away from it. The politicians can't pay themselves humongous amounts and then those who labor day and night, you pay them peanuts. It's not going to be acceptable. It is jolly well not going to be acceptable. Mm. Why can a professor not get the same amount of the same remuneration and take home as a senator? Like it happens in civilized countries. You don't have that kind of gap. Mm. You see, so until you have a total overhaul, so it's not a, it's not a it's not a function of paying them eight hundred thousand or whatever the value is. It's eight hundred thousand in the midst of what? As the professor is getting eight hundred thousand, what is the senator getting? What is the chairman of the local government getting? What is the pension plan of the governor? What does the judge get? What who what are the priorities that we have? We should have education, health. Okay, legal, teaching. Well, that goes under education. So, so it, it's the disparity that is the problem. Mm. Uh, it's not so much how much you pay, whether you double or triple or multiply the salaries by five. It is the gap budget. And that's what I had hoped the president would look at critically. By the way, the president's style of governance, I hope we'll see no more in 2023 one committee to examine another committee, committee after another committee. Why don't we know? Femi Adesino and um, what's the other gentleman's name? Should tell us what does the president himself think about this matter? What does what what is burning in his heart? That is why I'm going to say again and I will never tire of saying in 2023 you need a hands-on president. You heard what Jonathan Jonathan that we so much criticized and changed for this man. You heard how he said he handled it. But the truth is, I would have thought the government would say, look, this is a time for us to overhaul the system. Let's look at the remuneration down the line. So that everything is apart. And how come we don't have a national assembly that is ready to make any sacrifice? People are saying electorals should go back to work. Go back to work on what? You should tell the people you voted into power also to make certain sacrifices we need to get real i had somebody saying this morning how much a professor in uganda is paid it's about four thousand dollars here it's about one not not even up to depending on the rates mm -hmm. not even up to one thousand dollars what are we talking about here and let me explain something to people you see it is one thing like they say it's one thing for your child to go through the four walls of a university it's another thing for the four walls to go through your child Everybody is in a hurry. Let them go. Let them graduate. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you will still suffer for it. It's so it's not so much children going to university. It's the quality of what they bring out that is crucial. And, and we need to understand that. And let them just go. And, you no. Know, it's not enough for your child just to have a BSc or a BA at the back of his name. It's the quality. And you can see, slowly but surely, surely, the quality has been on a decline. And there is no way, like Sheriff said this morning, you would have to scrap one session. I don't believe that you can back them up. They've been down for about six, seven months. Yes. You can't do seven months work in one month. No. How do you want to do that? How do you want to do that? And how do you even want to get the best out of such people? Yes. So let us try and make that sacrifice here for a better tomorrow. 
the ASU should insist on what they want, and then all of us should join them. And like I said, I'm surprised. I don't understand. The Labour Congress, all of them, should be involved in all this. You don't bind ASU to the Philistines. We should all, we should all be saying that, look, let's look at the, the remuneration system that we have. Mm. You know, it's lopsided. That's where the cocoa is. So there's another cocoa, right? There are other university unions who agreed to the the offers of the government, the NASU, the SANU, the NAT. These are all labor unions in the university system, leaving you know ASU alone to um, keep fighting. If I, if I were ASU, let them go and teach the children. Most of them have come from civil service. I mean, so let them go and teach the children. Do you know what it is to be a professor? I'm not even talking about the academics, the things that you need to do, the research, the things that should be at your fingertips. Yeah. You should be going for at least one conference a year, preferably two, three. Uh, you should be able to say that, look, we should be able to second the professor from the University of Lagos to go teach them in Korea. Have we forgotten the revered Valesho Yinka was a professor? He was a lecturer. I mean, come on. We've produced geniuses in this country through the university system. So let's let's for for those who are parents, let's just persevere and get this thing. Let us get it done properly, and back us to the hills. But I think that the overall because look, if you if, if we continue with this kind of lopsided system that we have, mm. we are just begging the issue. Yes, you will have graduates, you turn out graduates, but what quality will they be? How committed will the le a lecturer should have nothing disturbing him apart from family problems? Mm. Because he needs to think, he needs to do research and pack the knowledge onto other children. The same goes for education. Uh, look at teachers, look at the way we treat our teachers. I, I remember I remember, for example, when I did my A levels in in in, in Aetoro, all the teachers were house. We had staff quarters bungalows, duplexes, and so the teachers could concentrate and teach us properly. Now we treat them with so much disdain. We treat them, and mark you, we will pay dearly for it and we are paying dearly for it now. Look at the quality of the people that you have mm. in governance and everywhere. Mm. It's on the decline. Don't say anything. What, what do you think about the no work, no pay? Who's going to take that? Because what they are doing themselves is a sacrifice. The work they are doing being on strike is a sacrifice. Don't, 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 don't let's go there. I, I will say no work, no pay. You won't pay them. Why well, you've been paying them peanuts and you won't even pay them for the seven months. They are saying they didn't, they didn't work, no work. Let the government continue now. <laughs> you won't pay them. Mm. I hear you. Okay. Lecturers are not like those in government who we know have their hands in the cookie jar. It's easy for them to say. Look, there is no, you can't see any fire in, in what is going on. It is one committee after ultimatum, committee, committee, committee. For God's sake, what does our president think? Our leader, we voted in, what does he think? Is he thinking like us? Does he have our pain? Jonathan, that we asked for him, said he solved the problem in his own time within one day. Why can't our president not do the same? It's always one committee. And by the way, mm. I'm sure you know the concept about committee. Committee means come eat. Committee. Yeah. Eh, why don't come eat? Like, like um, was it Madam, the Madam who called in? Who Madame called Gloria. in? This one, Madam Gloria. They will get sitting allowance. This is get put them in hotel. Four weeks they sit between committee. It's come eat. Eh, well, <laughs> committee, come eat. <laughs> come eat. <laughs> Come shop. Come shop. Okay. Let's do the Vanguard away from page. <laughs> Let's go to page 10 now. Lagos records 30 collapsed buildings in seven months. 30. Well, <laughs> well we hope, we hope we've seen the last of I don't think we have. Um, as we speak, I haven't seen anywhere that the government has told us who owned the building that went down in Oniru. Uh, and that is very crucial. I've not seen anywhere that he's been arrested or that he's wanted. We haven't seen anything happen. This thing happened on Sunday. Today is Wednesday. Again, we call on the Commissioner for Information to please give us this. Who owns this building? Hmm. Who owns it? There must be somebody. Who was the guy? Who, who is the developer? We, we have... 
nothing to show here that there's any attempt at all to to bring anybody to justice in this matter. Meanwhile, we have a minimum of six persons dead. And I am sure by the time they uproot the debris, you could find two or three more bodies. I think it's unfortunate. See, one of the one of the things that holds the society together is that thing that says that if you commit a crime, you will not get away with it. Every human being has a tendency to commit a crime. That's right. And that includes me. That's right. That's right. If I know that I can jump a light and I will not be caught, there are no cameras, I will jump that light. That's human nature. It's human nature, yeah. So the only thing is for us to say that, look, if you commit a crime, in the Western world, it, it takes you 40 years. I remember one man, the man was about 90-something, was on, dying, on his dying bed in the hospital. They brought him forward to come and face World War charges about five years ago. But we don't do that. And this is the elite. Where this happened, where the, the, this place was built, in a high-profile area. Only the elite could own a property like that. So why, how come we don't know who he is? How come we are not setting an example with him? She, the Koyi one we knew because the man died on the spot mm -hmm. there. Why, why, can't the, 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 why can't the authorities tell us? And they have a name in their file. You can't say you're investigating to find out his name is in your file. Unless... Unless what? Unless if the person did not go through the government before building, putting something like that. No, he would have... Uh, uh, come on. The, 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 you would have a name. Uh, uh, okay, the, the building had been... Uh, yeah, it's not a funny guy. You can't build a house in a place like Oniru. He would have submitted something initially. Uh, and the house... They would certainly have a name. What about the land? Wouldn't he have a CFO? What kind of berserk unless is that? So, <laughs> so, uh, so this, this is you. You're thinking because you know because of the person, the kind of person you are. Yes. This is Lagos. Oh, so people, I, I, are you, people put up structure. No, are you telling me that somebody will put up a structure in a high bright area like Oniru and will not be? There? No, I'm not even talking about Oniru now. I'm just saying that unless. No, no, I'm unless saying, is I'm, I'm, that, saying, I'm talking I'm, about this one now. I'm saying you generally could, in Lagos. No, you, you could do right? that. You could do that in the remote areas probably. Not, not uh, in that kind of place. Not in that kind of place. If that person is well connected, after Banana Island, mm -hmm. th that's where you have the most expensive properties. And Nikoi, VI is next. If that person is well connected, that's why it's even better for you to make a sacrifice. Once you make make a, an example out of him, maybe people will stop this. Because continually, all you do is we are going to get the developer, we are going to get the builder, and nothing is heard. Every time it happens, and that's why we continue to lose lose lives. We 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 we, we play poker with people's lives. Yes, and don't forget, had this building be, had this building been fully put up, mm -hmm. it could still have gone down with people inside it. That's right. That, so, that's so absolutely. So we are absolutely. lucky that it's gone down during construction. It could have been finished, painted, mm -hmm. and if it goes down at that point, there would have been the people casualty inside. would have been massive. And there are some buildings. Because I, I, I kept telling Philip, I kept pointing to this building that, Philip, this building is not working, so it's going to go down. There, there are some buildings in the neighborhood that the government also needs to take a second look at, especially the very tall, high-rise high, high rise ones, six, seven floors. Hmm. You need to take a look. There's one that just has just been constructed. You can see from the balcony that it's chipping. You know, the, you, you know what I mean by yeah, chipping? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's coming off, yeah. which means that probably the mix of the cement and hmm. the whatever... Has there's been some compromise? Hmm. There's a lot of work to be done, and we should please place a premium on human lives. If you think you are immune, you are sitting in your uncomfortable home. What about if you are driving past or you are walking past and the building comes down? Yeah. What about if you had to go see somebody? Exactly. I was going to say that human yes. movement, human movement is unpredictable. Sometimes it's unpredictable. You, you never could, know you where you'll you find could yourself. You could be at the wrong place. Yes. You know, at any time. I, I think I think I think that if the government is serious, but I'm 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 surprised that after yesterday's program they still haven't. I think you should put a call through to the commission. Why, why are you always so, saying I should? Yeah, put a call. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why are you always asking me to put a call through? To <laughs> It's you now, you. Yeah, I'm a cook now. You can, you can, you can do this. No, thing. that's why I have to be careful. You know, <laughs> you are the one. You know, you, you can always run to him, but no. <laughs>
<laughs> but you know, th this this is this is a joke taken too far. Is a joke um, taken too far? I, I, this this I, I, amount I, I, of bidding collapse shouldn't shouldn't be tolerated. I think it's a state of emergency, and it's a huge one failure. of the reasons and, why this has happened this far is because we failed to punish those involved. That, that's too that's much. That's why I, I that's why I said I said let the government come and tell us, give us a list of those who've been charged. And those who have been successfully prosecuted in cases like this, I don't think there's ever going to be which would, like which would include by now, which would even have the names of the civil servants who who are involved in this enterprise. Right, right. Uh, they, they, uh, okay, I, because we, we should be asking ourselves: when the building was sealed, mm. when the building was sealed, what followed? What? Where did that guy get the confidence yeah. to continue building yeah. after it was sealed? Who was the person who interfered in that in that process? And somebody was saying yesterday the commissioner has resigned. Leave that one. We know how it works. Probably get a juice here. If twenty twenty three comes to now, it moves on to federal. Hmm. Enough is enough. If, if they, we, we can't keep having our people die at will. Enough is not. Let's put a value. A human life is a human life. It has That's no right. value in the eyes of man and God, except those who have no human feeling. Exactly. Exactly. And so, so we we again exactly. we would like to to ask the government. Can you tell us who owns this building and what you have done with him or her? And what you've done with the other buildings that have collapsed. That have collapsed. Let us, let's know. There's nothing wrong. Tell us what it is now. Or is there more than missing? I, because look, the truth is, Lagos State's biggest problem is compromise hmm. and political interference. Even at the judicial level, administratively. There's too much, but but, it's but too much interference politically and influence, you know, influential from oh, so so and so is interested. Chief, something is interested. Ask your friends who are judges some of the pressures that some of them face. Hmm. Say, oh, as this is interested, he has an interest. He has an interest. It, it, like like God bless uh, my, my my friend late Elias. Hmm. He, he would always say to me, "You don't know the mind of the judge. You don't you don't go by the law. You hmm. look at the mind of the judge who is on the opposite side." Hmm. That's why you find everybody running to sands. You, you, I, don't let's go there. I don't want. That's to, another. That's yeah, another uh, rough, yeah, rough yeah. fight. Yeah. But, was, but in all honesty, Governor, please. And by the way, this is an aside. Hmm. Governor, please take a ride to Ijora. Is an eyesore. Ijora, take take a ride to Ijora and see what is going on in Ijora, sir. With due respect, it is it is a complete eyesore. Or if you're coming from a papa, Ijora on the left and under the bridge, mm. that your your predecessor had done it up, he painted it, flowered it, and so on. Now it is I had the misfortune of taking the place. Mm. I, I parked on one side and had to throw up. It is an eyesore, sir. Indeed. Please. Please. Whilst we think that we are going to look for foreign investments, Ejekatunle say no. What do you want foreigners to come and see in Lagos? Because I, the governor said he just came back from America. Went yeah. to, fair enough. But what are they going to come and see in Lagos? This rot? In Ijora? Um, 7.50 is the time. Let's, let's take this one from Vanguard. 2023, um, trouble for Nigeria if power goes to North Pandef. I don't like to hear that kind of nonsense. Election is a game of numbers and influence. If you have a, a candidate you are backing, you can't put a knife to anybody's head and say that the, you, our laws allow any, both any north or south. Go out there and fight for it. So I'm sorry, I'm not with, I'm not with Pandev on this. By now, Pandev should know how to play politics within Nigeria. They're not in isolation. So to threaten everybody that if, if the power goes to the north, you are going to do this and go to do that, you are not playing the right politics. Nobody can threaten us. Nobody can threaten us. The, 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 it, it is the majority that will decide what will happen. And if by accident or whatever, the power goes to the north, so be it. I, I, don't, think, I don't think threatening people is going to help because what they're saying here is, that there will be a problem for Nigeria if power was returned in the north. Mm -hmm. Supposing it's, it's, it's uh, the PDP candidate who is from the north that is thrown up. So what's going to happen? We are going to start another civil war because we voted somebody from the north. Let's quickly put that thing out. And the way things are going, our politicians need to be careful. You demonize candidates because they are from one part of the country. Mm -hmm. You want to set people against each other, you know, all because you want to be president. 
I sometimes wonder, president of what kind of country? A burning country? This is politics, and this is real dirty politics. And this kind of politics will reverberate. It will have its downsides. And please, for you out there, voting for somebody who comes from your area doesn't solve your problem. What it does is that it solves the problem of the elite in your area. It doesn't come down to you. Mm. And if you want to spend the whole of your life being able to them, good luck to you. Vote for who will make your life better. Whether he's from the east, he's from the west, he's from the Niger Delta. It's, from, it, it's funny. We had somebody from Pan Delta, from Niger Delta. We had a president from Niger Delta. He was president for about six years. Who fought for, for Jonathan when it, it, it looked as if somebody was going to put a spanner in the works? When he wasn't going to be recognized, he wasn't just from the from it wasn't just from uh, from the south south. Yeah, everybody. Hey, everybody, I'm not from the south south. All of us put up our gloves and said, "No, mm. he must be president." Mm -hmm. So don't let's go there. Country, for God's sake, have issue based politics. Somebody is instigating this. Yeah. Somebody is instigating. It's this. Pandev. It's Pandev. No, it's not like that. Who is somebody, instigating it? I don't know, but somebody is instigating this. Uh, okay. Why are you asking me? No, because it's Pandev. Pandev, look. <laughs> let me have the, let me please help me with what the paper. Do do with the no, it's my paper. I, I just wanted to I just wanted to remember the uh Who gran Pandev the is? grandpa's name. Um I would I will get it now. Please, what's his name again? Um Okay, I can't find his name here. Now. His name is not there. Okay, it's, you it's, know, it's Ken Robinson that he put there, but it's not Ken Robinson. Oh, it's a Papa's name that. But, but Papa, there. Papa would never say that. Ah, Papa would say it too. No, Papa would never say that. Papa I've known say. I've known Papa since he was commissioner for education. Papa would say it. Commissioner for information way back in the seventies. He would never. Say so that. so Ken Ken cannot say this without the approval of Papa. Papa would not say that. Oda mutibo. Uh, but Papa will say it, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why we rejected PDP's call out money in Suka Anglican Diocese? This story is in Vanguard. Well, I like I like this one. Um, I like this one. And the Nsuka Anglican, you know, the, you know Governor, is it Ayade? Hmm. He also offered the Methodist Church. Oh. I think he offered them, was it 25 million, something like that. And they told him that take the money. We mm. thank you for your money. Take the money. Go and pay salaries of those oh. who you are owing. Yes, that was about two, three months ago. And now th this country is changing bit by bit. Mm. Uh, it means that what some of us are doing here is not in vain. Mm. People are beginning to realize. It's encouraging. They, they told it publicly. They didn't. It wasn't. They told him grab the mic and said, "We donate this money for you to go and pay salaries." The man walked out with his tail. So this one now, they, they rejected two million. Cola brought by the PDP in Enugu State mm. because it was against the principles of the church. The diocese, the diocese also said that the rejection was not to malign the party or its candidate, adding that he prayed and equally counseled the candidates to engage in issue based camp campaign. Of course, in the media, it was reported that the money was 10 million, mm. but Venerable Ike Ugu rejected the money and uh, uh, said that the money rejected was just 2 million. So Maybe the candidate gave them 10. By the time they butchered it, everybody take his own, uh, whatever. Gone okay, down. Before it got to... It's gone down uh, to two. It's gone to two. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's already seated, but yeah. if the, if the justice had taken it, that the candidate wouldn't know. Yeah, He'd be he thinking wouldn't. to himself, That's oh, right. I've given these people 10 million. And the other people will be saying, ah, he gave us 2 million. Isn't that nice? But one day, I should hear two. Mm. That's it. It always comes out. It always comes out. Mm. Courts grant Ogun Speaker others bail over alleged fraud. Well, now that the man has been granted bail, I hope he will do the decent thing, what Yoruba scholar Omoluadi, and just step aside. It is bad enough that a Speaker of the state should be in the dock. That act alone, that, that act is dishonorable. It's, it is sad that the Speaker of, uh, of, you know, a Speaker is like third in line. If you have the governor, the deputy governor, it's the speaker. It's third in line. Would not be in the dock with his hands behind his back. That's what you would say. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Mm. Uh, I, I, I think he needs he needs to do. It's not that you are guilty, sir. Or we know that these things do happen, but the fact that you found yourself as speaker in the dock, mm. so, at the very least, sir, just step aside and let your deputy. After the tenure is almost over, yeah, almost. and it will also give you time to concentrate on your case. Right. Right. Mm. We must go now. What's coming up? At, uh, who is coming on the air for me today? Chinedu. Oh, Chinedu will be he, here. He wants to nice. reply. Uh, 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 nice. Mrs. Mrs. Fachano. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> the dreaded Mrs. Fachano. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's um, nine. The Ebony Daily Digest is coming on nine today. Thank you so much for coming around. Okay. See you. Lagos, thank you for tuning in. Um, let's take the news after the news. Road to 2023 is next. They don't disconnect your line. Sick of say you not link your national identification number to your MTN number? Make you not worry. If you don't already collect your NIN, you get some five easy steps so you can take reconnect them. One, dial star 785 hash. Two, text your national identification number NIN to 785. Three, visit my MTN NG app. Four, chat with Ziggy on top of this WhatsApp number. Plus 234-903-300-0001 or 5. Visit www.mtn.ng if you're not going to get national... And I want to assume that you would run because I want to give the listeners context for the conversation. In 2019, you were running mate to um, Atiku Abubakar. What did you learn then that you will not repeat this time? Yes, when is the president coming out to address us? There's a few things. One, I have a burden and a passion for young people. The fact that you have elected a man does not mean then you begin to order him around. The president will do whatever is good for the country at any given time. Mr. Adeshino, isn't the president responsible to the people? What should the next president do to root out stakeholders who are complicit? You fire them. Those that need to be fired, they're fired. It's looking like a brand new Chelsea, attacking with so much fluidity. And what can you say about that, Martin? I know you follow Chelsea quite closely. I live close to the Chelsea training ground. That's what you mean by that. I'm not <laughs> a Chelsea.